Today we will introduce a system Verilog unit test framework from Agile SOC called SVUnit. Um, now unit testing is a concept that has um, that comes from computer programming and in the past 10 years it's one of the uh, ideas that has accelerated um, the, the progress and the productivity uh, in the software industry. So the basic idea of unit testing is taking the smallest testable part of your code, of your application, and testing that. Now in the hardware world, um, there's also a concept of unit testing, and it often refers to a testing of an RTL module. Uh, however, this concept uh, of unit testing, as is presented by the um, System Verilog unit test, unit test Framework SVUnit, is a bit larger than that. Besides testing modules, it's also possible to use it to test classes, your system very log classes and uh, individual methods and uh, your system very log interfaces. Um, so the SV unit test framework can be applied to basically almost anything that you have in your code base and you can use it uh, to test that. So um, the unit testing in the hardware industry specifically uh, for system very log and other HDLs has been uh, picking up in popularity quite recently. In fact, just earlier this week, uh, Cadence uh, came out uh, with a webinar uh, regarding testing the test bench and they announced um, a unit test framework for their Specman E uh, language called EUnit. Um, but this particular uh, video today we will focus on SVUnit. Uh, so let's get on to the example here. Uh, so I'm going to open up um, an example and I've put in some code already here. So let's get started. So we have a module here. So first we're going to use SVUnit to test a module. And in future videos we'll um, use SVUnit to test uh, system Verilog classes, UVM, uh, and other things. So this is a basic module of an adder subtractor. Uh, there's two inputs, A and B. Uh, there's a clock and there's a flag control signal whether to do an addition or subtraction and uh, on each clock cycle it returns uh, it either adds the values or subtract the values so we're going to use the SVUnit test, test framework to write a couple tests for this module um, so over here I have some boilerplate code and I'll roughly go through it um, so our, our unit tests are going to be inside this module um, this module will have a name over here um, and there's a couple kind of general methods um, that we need over here. We have a, a build method that will run once and we have a setup method uh, that will run before each test and then we have a teardown method that will run after each test. And then I also added a uh, statement here to dump the waves and we will just uh, dump the waves for the uh, signals that are going to be um, at, this, at this module level, at the module of this unit test. Uh, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to instantiate our unit under test. So we're going to need to hook up to this module, and then we're going to need to instantiate it. So let's um, let's set up the signals. So we have the clock and do add signals. Then we have the two A and B inputs. We're going to be using logic for those, A and B. And then we have the result, which is going to be uh, 9 bits wide. And let's uh, instantiate this this module. So we have add sub is in the module name, and we'll just call it dot, and we'll just use the system verilog dot star notation to hook everything up. So now we've uh, connected up the module. Uh, now before I go any further, let me go ahead and run this um, run this unit test because as it as it's written right now, it should run successfully. So I've selected uh, SV unit over here and I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, so it's running right now and you, as you can see everything has passed um, but the reason it has passed is because um, there's no checks in this um, in this unit test right now. We do have uh, a place where the unit test will go but right now I put in here to do here so nothing nothing is actually happening here. So you can see that this to-do test is actually passing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write a couple tests right now. So I'm going to do two tests. I'm going to do a test for adding and then a test for subtracting. 
Um, but before I need to do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, initialize our module over here. So the only thing I'm gonna do to initialize the module is I'm gonna set the clock to zero. And besides that, um, we can just use the defaults over here. We don't need to change anything. All right, let's start with the test. So this is going to be an add test. And I'm going to be using some blocking statements because this is a test bench. Um, and, um, and it's okay to use uh, blocking statements here. So I'm going to add two and three. And I'm going to specify that this is an addition. And then I'm going to toggle the clock. Uh, let me use uh, pound five here for the for the time. I'm just going to toggle the clock a couple times. So now we've actually sent what this does is it sent in the inputs to our our dot our union under test, and the inputs are hooked up here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to check the output. So we're going to use some, one of the SV unit macros to check the out, output. I'm going to use the fail unless, and what we expect is uh, we expect the result to be 5. So we're going to use a triple equal here, make sure we match it exactly. Result. So basically, right now we have a basic uh, unit test for addition. We uh, provide some inputs, and then we check the output. So now let's do another one for subtraction. So I'm going to copy and paste this here and just modify a few things for subtraction. Um, I'll call it subtract test. So let's do something interesting. Uh, let's do inputs. Let's pass in 1F. And then we'll pass in, uh, let's do 20. So as you can see here, I'm taking 1F and I'm going to subtract uh, 20 from it. This is going to be a subtraction, so this flag is set to zero. So what should happen when we do that? Of course, here we're going to see a an overflow here, and the result will should actually be all ones, so one ff. Um, okay, so this looks like it's going to work. So let me give it a shot. Let me run it. So it's running right now. So both of these tests are passed. So I've successfully um, successfully tested my module. So another thing that you can do is uh, you can open up the waves and actually see what's happening. As you recall earlier, I, I dumped the, the waves for this module, so we should be able to see them. So I'm going to go ahead and rerun it again, uh, so it'll dump the waves at the end. Okay, uh, let's see what we have here. So um, we've got two and three, and we uh, toggled the clock, and the result was five, and then we changed um, the inputs to 1F and 2.0. We changed the do add flag and then the result was 1FF. So as you can see, uh, the waves represent exactly what we did in our unit tests. Uh, so I wanted to cover some of the benefits of using uh, SVUnit as opposed to just simply creating your mo own module, doing an initial statement and just running this traffic. Uh, basically SVUnit is a framework and one of the major things it provides is it provides organization for your unit tests. So as you can see, you have very, very clear messages regarding what's running, what what passed, and you can even add uh, display statements here um, to to dump some more information. And you see here it it, it, pa it says two of the two tests passing. So these are the tests in this file. Uh, besides just having one file, you could have multiple files, and you can combine those multiple files into suites. Uh, so the second level is files. So you know each file is a test case. So in this case we have one file, but we can have uh, you know multiple files, and then we can have multiple groups of files. So this framework is able to handle uh, a lot of tests uh, very effectively and with very good reporting. So if you want to find more information about SV Unit, um, you can get there a few ways. So you can just simply go to the uh, about page about EDA Playground. Uh, scroll down to um, over here we have in the introduction we cover the tools and simulators that we use and libraries and methodologies so SVUnit is a library 
Um, so over here you have basically a link back to Agile SOC and then a place on SourceForge where you can download the library.